everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm back with the TV box. It's the Tanix TX6. So this comes with the All Winner H6 sock. So that is the same as with the Pine H64 or with the Orange Pi 3. Yes, this is a 3. So I like this sock, but it has got its problems. It overheats very quickly. It could be clocked to 1.8 GHz, but if you run it at 1.8 GHz, then you need a very good fan to keep it cool. So, I also have got this TV box, the X96 Air. This comes with the Amlogic S905 X3. So I like this box a lot. This sock is really great. So this sock is very power efficient. Compared to this, that is the biggest difference for this one. This one can run at 1.9 GHz without any problems. You don't need a fan on this. It just runs inside of this box. While for this, this is a very other story. So even if you run it at 1.7 GHz, it overheats very quickly, certainly in Linux. So there is Android 9 for this box. And in Android it is clocked at 1.5 GHz. This is so it wouldn't overheat too quickly. And that is best. I will open this box for you so you see the heat sinks of it. The heat sinks aren't that bad, but there is a problem with it. It can't get all its heat into its heat sinks, so it throttles very quickly. So for that reason, this box is a lot better. This box has a faster CPU. It doesn't overheat as quickly and also this box consumes a lot less. But there is one big advantage to have this box compared to this box. The biggest difference between these boxes is this box can run everything you want. The boot priority of it is always SD first. So if you plug an SD card with an operating system in it, it will run from the SD card first. No matter what happens with the EMMC, that is a totally different story with this box. You always need to have a bootloader on the EMMC or otherwise you cannot boot this board. So you could use an SD card, but if there is no bootloader on the EMMC, so from Android or maybe if you want to install Armbian on it, only then you can boot the board and only then you can boot the board from SD cards. So that makes it that this board can be bricked. If something happens with the installation on the EMMC, then this board can be bricked and unusable. While with this one, if something happens with the installation on the EMMC, you can easily fix it with an SD card. So for that reason, this box is a lot better than this box. But there are trade-offs. This one also has got the better Wi-Fi. So that is also an advantage. Otherwise, both are very good, both are very similar. This one is clocked higher, but doesn't overheat that quickly. This one can't be clocked that high. It is best to clock it to 1.5 if you will use it in Linux. Then it will not overheat that quickly. I've been using a very big fan on it. And even then it goes very high in temperature, so it actually needs a good fan, but it is a TV box. Most people will keep it closed and most people will not use a fan. So for the more advanced people, put a fan in it. You can connect it with a USB, like for instance, I have got here my big fan. So for example, I have got this big fan I've put uh usb port onto it so i just can plug it in wherever i need it doesn't consume too much so every usb port can handle this it is a big fan but it fits right onto my tv box so when it is opened so when uh, the front plate is off i can just put it onto my tv box and the whole tv box is cooled like this but of course this makes a little bit of noise but for people who want to use this as a desktop or as anything that uses a lot of the cpu i can advise to use something like this a smaller fan also would work but you do need a fan if you want to do serious stuff on this box 
So I will show you around an Android 9 on here. There is not much to say about it. It is a rooted device, so you can install whatever you want. There is also the Google Play Store. So it works. It works at 4K. I watched 4K uh, YouTube videos. It works. It's uh, good for that. I will show you Linux. I will show how to install Linux onto this. It is very simple. It is great that it can boot just from SD cards without doing anything special. So for that, this is a very good box. So here we go. So one thing I have to tell you is that the Tunix TX6 is being sold with 4 GB of RAM, but this SOC can only address 3 GB of RAM. So you only have got 3 GB and not 4 GB. So here is Android for the TX6. I am no Android fan, but for one thing it is just good. That is for watching 4K YouTube. So here we are gonna watch a clip of mine. It is a 1440p clip, but it also plays 4K without any problem. Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to play Windows games on Twisted OS. So in the last video I showed how to install Twisted OS on the Raspberry Pi 4. So now let's play some games. So first of all I will set my governor to performance. It is best to do that for gaming. So to play Windows games on the Raspberry Pi 4 we need Box86. So Box86 emulates X86. So that is the instruction set that normal PCs run on. So the YouTube app is pre-installed as is Chrome and the Netflix movie player. The Google store is also pre-installed and there is also Alice UX. This is a kind of Kodi clone. So with the Google Play store you can just install whatever you want. This can play Android games pretty well, here is Asphalt 8, but for gaming the X96 Air is a little bit better. I have tried PSP games on this and they didn't run well. So that's enough for Android. Now let's go to Armbian Linux. So to download the Armbian image, we go to the Armbian website. There we go to the forum and there to TV boxes. And there we go to single Armbian image for RK, Amlogic and all winner Arch64 Arm V8. There you go to the download link, Yadi. And here are some different images, so I will choose the one of 2209.25, this is the latest one. So I will download Armbian Bionic without a desktop, but you can download the Armbian Focal with a desktop and Bullseye with the desktop over here. I only have got an SD card of 8GB, so uh, the server image is better for that. And it will take less time before it is downloaded. So that is not all. There is something else we have to download. So we go back until here and here is the folder uBoot. We go in there. uBoot Armbian. 
and here in some folder there must be the correct uboot file for our device. It isn't here. So here it is. The Allwinner H6 Tanix TX6. So we also download that. So I first format my SD card with SD formatter. And then when the image is downloaded, I extract the image with 7-zip. And now we can burn the image onto our SD card. So I will use Win32 Disk Imager for this. You can use whatever you want. So we select the image that we downloaded and we write it onto our SD card. Now when that is done, we also have to write our U-boot file. So for that make sure the boot partition is selected in Win32 Disk Imager. And then we select the U-boot file for the Tanix TX6. And we write it. Now only one thing needs to be done. We go into the boot partition. There into EXT Linux. And there we've got extlinux.conf. We open that with notepad++. Here you can see it is now set for the RK3399. So we need to put a hashtag in front of the RK3399 DTB file. And also in front of the append. And then we remove the hashtags in front of FDT for the TX6. And the first append is for mine. The second one is for the 2 GB model. If that is done, we can save it. We put the SD card into our TV box and we can boot from Linux. So as you can see, here is Ambient Bionic Server. This is the great thing about this box. You don't need to adjust anything on the box to be able to boot from the SD card. This was just an example for you. I've already got an Armbian Focal with the desktop. So here it is. Armbian works nice on this box, but the onboard Wi-Fi doesn't work. I've been using my own 5 GHz Wi-Fi dongle on it. That worked perfectly. Armbian isn't the best to watch YouTube on this box of course. It can do 720p video, but not any higher. <coughs>
but the SOC should be able to do 1.8 GHz and this one has trouble with 1.7 GHz. So in idle it consumes 0.75 amps and maxed out it goes to 1.2 amps. This is without anything connected to the USB and no Wi-Fi connected or Bluetooth. Then the Blender benchmark results. So with the case open it took the longest time, so 1 hour 45 minutes and 8 seconds. It was constantly throttling to 480 MHz or 720, so that was just unusable. With the case closed it's a little bit better, but still not ok. So 1 hour 11 minutes and 24 seconds. Then with the case open, with the fan on top of it, 41 minutes and 14 seconds. So here you can see that a fan makes a huge difference if you do a heavy task. I don't understand why this is this bad. My Pine H64 does it a lot better without a fan and a smaller heatsink. Then the 7-zip single core benchmark. So I compared it with all quad core boards. Only the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus isn't 64 bits. For all the others it was a 64 bit OS. So the TX6 has 1551, it is clocked at 1.7 GHz, so the Pine H64 did a little better at 1.8 GHz. Of course the X96 Air does this best, it is clocked at the highest clock speed, so you would expect that. The Raspberry Pi has got high performance cores, so they do good for 1.5 GHz, but of course it can be overclocked to over 2 GHz. The result of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is actually not reliable since it is 32 bits and 32 bits does a little better than 64 bits with 7-zip. And then the ROG 64 at 1.5 GHz is the slowest of them all. So it isn't a bad sock, the sock is potent enough but it needs cooling. So for a TV box I think that is very problematic for most people. For me that's not a problem since I can use a fan, but how many people will use a fan on a TV box? So I can advise this TV box for people who want to use it as a light server, but be sure to clock it lower in Armbian to 1.5 or 1.3 GHz, then you will never have any problems. It is a reliable sock and it is well supported, but it isn't the most performance sock for this price. So the TX6 has got its advantages. Certainly that the SD card has got the boot priority, that is awesome. That is something the X96 Air doesn't have, what makes the X96 Air dangerous to be bricked. So if you want to use Armbian for very light tasks, then I can say the TX6 can be for you. If you like Android more, then the X96 Air is more for you. You can run Armbian on it, but it isn't supported well. And you can break the device if you install it on the EMMC. So with the X96 Air always keep your Android on your EMMC. So I guess that's it for today. I've got a lot more videos coming about the Rock Pi X and X96 SBC. It is very cool, I love it. So that will be later in the week. So see you all later, thank you all for watching, bye!